Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So in the previous lessons we've been looking at how to create passwords and in the lessons before that we looked at how to arrange books and people in a line. Now we're going to take words, the words such as maths, and we're going to see how many five letter words can we form from that word maths. So M A T H and S. That's what we have available. And we want to know how many five letter words can be formed. So we open up five different places. And they say repetition is not allowed. Okay, so for the first letter, um oh and let's let's do the choices over here and then the word. So how many choices do we have for the first one? Well there's five, right? And let's say we chose an A, so that means A is gone. For the next one we have four options. Let's say we chose an M. And let's say for the next one there's three options and we chose an H. Then there's two options available, either T or S. Let's say we chose S. And then there's one option available, which is obviously T. Now obviously this isn't a proper English word, but that's not what we mean. We're talking about combinations. Okay, so how many so how many different types are there? Well then we multiply all of these together. And that's going to give us 120 different words. 120 different words can be made using the letters of the word maths. Same question now, but now repetition is allowed. Okay, so we've got the word maths, or we've got the letters maths. So for the first one, we have five options available. So actually, I should have written that over here. And let's say the letter we chose was a T. But now I'm not going to cross the T out like that because repetition is allowed. So now, how many options do I still have? Well, I still have five, and let's say I chose another T, okay? So that's T, T. Then let's say I chose another T. It doesn't matter because repetition is now allowed. Then let's say for the next one I chose an A. Sorry, that should have come first. Then how many, how many letters do I have available? Well, I still have five because repetition is allowed. So I'm not crossing anything out. So how many options, so there's the first word we've just made, T, 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 A, S. How many could we have made? Well, you multiply all of these together, so that's 5 to the power of 5, and that's going to give you 3,125. Okay, here I've changed up the criteria a little bit. Repetition is allowed, and then the word must start with an M, and it must end with an A. Okay, so let's go to the number of choices, and then the actual word that we form, just for fun, we'll have a look at that. So there's five different options. So for the first choice, it says it has to start with an M. Well, how many M's are there? There's only one. So we put a one over there and an M over there. Then it says that repetition is allowed. So for the next for the next letter, we have five options available. It can be an M again if you want. So we have five different options and let's say it was an M again. Then we have five options for the third one. Let's say we chose a T. Then we have five options available. Let's say we chose a T again. And then they say that the last one must end with an A. Okay, so how many A's are there? There's only one, so it must end with an A. So this is one of the codes that we could have made, but how many could we have made in total? Well, that's the choices part. And so we end up with 1 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 1, which gives us a value of 125. Okay, now we're going to try a similar question, but we're going to say that repetition is not allowed. Okay, so we've got the word maths. Now we know that we have to start with an M, so I'm going to put an M over there, so there would be only one way to choose that. Then it has to end with an A, so there would also only be one place way to have chosen that. You could put that one over here if you want to, um, but I just like to keep it in the order that it would be, just to make things a bit easier to understand. Now we've got three letters available, so we can put a three over here, and let's say we chose a H, so that's now gone. For the next one, we have two options available. Let's say we just chose an S, so we can put an S over there, and then we have one option available, and let's say we chose a T. And there we go, so this is one code that could have worked. Notice there's no repetition. It starts with an M, ends with an A, and then you just, to see how many different types you could have used, well, you multiply all of this together, and that's just going to give you six. So there's only six different types of words you could have made using that criteria.